Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to start the program at this time. There are still some seats available. If you'd like to find one, that would be great. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you for joining us today. I'm Greg Matthews. I'm a state representative for House District 50, which is Gresham, and I'm a lifetime member of the community. As a local firefighter, veteran, and community member, Ranger is incredibly important to me. I'm happy to be here today to help bring everyone up to speed to make an exciting announcement that will really bring this project to the next level making it even more real and even more exciting to this entire region. Before, uh, before I get to talk about that, I want to introduce somebody who's been instrumental. I'd like to introduce Lonnie Dykus. He is the Senior Advisor for the USS Ranger Foundation 
And Lonnie's going to give us a little bit of history about the USS Ranger. Lonnie? Thank you all very much. It's really a, it's a great thrill for me to be up here, and I, I so appreciate all of you coming. You know, ours has been a, a community-based project from the very beginning, and it is um, great to see all our partners, our civic partners, and certainly our uh, public agencies here and all the other folks that have made this a, such a great project. And I also certainly want to recognize our president, Peter Roku, who's been here and certainly served on Ranger, and as all well as many of the other board members that are here and certainly the veterans who served on the ship as well. So thank you all very much for coming. Briefly, the history of Ranger. The ship was commissioned in 1957 and was rightly named the top gun of the Pacific Fleet. It uh, served an illustrious career in Vietnam, seven deployments, earning 13 battle stars, it also served in Desert Storm. Um, you know, actually it was the ship, more sorties were flown from that ship than any other carrier at Desert Storm. So it got quite a history and also did humanitarian work off the coast of Somalia in Operation Restore Hope. So again, it's been a, quite a full career. The ship was retired in 1993 and is now uh, moored up in Bremerton and uh, ready to, to uh, begin the next phase of her public service life. The Ranger Foundation was formed about 10 years ago to really guide the ship community service. We uh, spend a lot of our time in the last many years working with the community to find the best location in Oregon to make this project resonate not only with the community but the entire region and, and be a success. And this is in large part what brought us here to East County. You know, I, I, I want to, there's so many people here to thank and, um, and, and we're, gonna, we're going to thank them all uh, at, at the appropriate time, but I certainly want to you know, single out Matt Wan, who was one of the original people who got on board with this project right from the very beginning, as well as Greg Matthews, and certainly our Metro partners and Multnomah County, and, and the rest of the folks have been so wonderful to support this project. I especially want to thank the city of Fairview. Uh, Mayor Weatherby has been just really terrific, and certainly our, the former administrator, city administrator, Jeff Gall, has been a great partner for us, as well as all the city council in moving this project forward. So we're certainly very appreciative. Uh, I, I lastly want to thank all the volunteers. The, you know, it, we are an organization of volunteers. We're an organization of community. And uh, it has been one of the great thrills of my life to work with a wonderful group of people that I've seen in the past two years I've been involved. I've seen that group grow from just a handful of folks to now we have a, pretty much a permanent staff of over a dozen folks and we have over 130 volunteers. So it is something that has really done well and, and really exploded. In, and been embraced by the entire community. So we are extremely grateful. So having said that, what I'd like to do is introduce uh, Mayor Weatherby to come up and say a few words, and if he would. And um, thank you again so much for being here and being part of this, this really exciting. Well, thank you, Lonnie. Uh, I want to thank everyone for being here today. This is an important moment, one of those, of the many important moments that has to do with the Ranger. What does the Ranger mean to Fairview? Well, as it's home to be, it is something that is going to be the very marker of our city, our community, of East, uh, East Multnomah County, of the whole region. This is going to be an economic dynamo. This is going to pull all those people who have fond memories of what it means to be on the Ranger, people who see it as a symbol of our country, people who want their children and grandchildren to know what it's like to be on a huge, magnificent ship, a ship that has paid its dues and more. The Ranger is planning to bring in 60 FTE jobs, in addition to parking, catering, educational support, and more. Imagine living wage jobs, tourism, and national status is the largest floating museum in the world. Everyone will recognize the name Fairview, Oregon, and that's just the beginning. What this means for this whole region and the jobs it produces and what it, it, what it will stand for is magnificent. Um, I give short speeches. And I think that everyone here understands what the Ranger will mean and does mean to them and what the opportunities and potential is. So without any further ado, I want to introduce our state representative and a good friend, Mr. Matt Wan. Matt?
We've had quite a string of successes here in East County over the last five or six years, and I want to illustrate just a few of them so that we can all uh, remember what they were. We have an East County courthouse that was 60 years in the making. We took a Superfund site that used to employ over 1,000 people in our community and was shut down over a decade ago. And we, with the help of the port, we redeveloped it. We worked together. We created the Troutdale Reynolds Industrial Park. And now it's been redeveloped and employs over 700 East County residents with more available land being developed in the future. Quite simply, when East County works together, we can accomplish anything. And this is our next opportunity. It's my pleasure to announce here today the donation of over 30 acres of land and water to the USS Ranger Foundation as her permanent home on the Columbia River. This is a donation that we're receiving from a new entity, Columbia Edgewater LLC. And it proves once again that East County is able to accomplish whatever we would like to do. I'd like to unveil the picture now and I'll talk about it. <clears throat> Just imagine driving north towards the Chinook Landing, looking out on your right and seeing not only this gorgeous supercarrier, but a hotel, restaurants, and a business park. This is truly the opportunity that we have been waiting for, but we can't do it without everybody helping. You know, when I think about this project and the way that we can showcase the strength of our community, I think of it a little bit like the galley of one of those old ships that cross the oceans. We have all of our residents here, we have the opportunity, and there's these, there are these oars that are sticking in the water. As any one of us gets tired, somebody else in our community has to step up and grab that oar for a while. And frankly, that's how we got here at this point right now. Each and every one of you as volunteers, your elected leaders, the foundation, at times when anybody has gotten discouraged, somebody else has stepped up. When we've run into a roadblock or an obstacle, we've surmounted that roadblock or obstacle by working together. I want to, I'm looking right now at Joe Gall, and I just want to point out that when he came to our community, he, he didn't grow up here the way uh, Representative Matthews and I did. But one of the things that he taught me when I first got elected to Troutdale City Council is that there isn't any reason why we can't work together, and when we do so, there isn't any reason why we can't accomplish whatever we want. Thank you, Joe, very much. <clears throat> With that, I will hand it over to State Representative Greg Matthews. Thank you, State Representative Wand. We're pretty formal that way. Actually, it's a pleasure to work with Matt and, uh, and other electeds in the East County area. Uh, Matt's correct. When we work together, we can accomplish anything. And we accomplish quite a bit. This is an important day in the Ranger history, a monumental day for East County, the entire state of Oregon, to include the state of Washington. Last year, I had the opportunity to travel to San Diego. And the USS Midway is stationed in San Diego. I don't know if you had an opportunity to see that. Many of you in the room have had an opportunity to work on the Ranger, or perhaps you've seen the Midway. Standing outside the Midway in the parking lot, as I see the tourists and, and, and this incredible energy, I picked up the phone and I called Shannon Chisholm. I said, Shannon, I'm standing out here looking at the Midway. This is incredible. How much, you know, what's the size comparison, the Ranger to the, uh, to the Midway? She says, oh, the Ranger's bigger. <laughs> I got really excited about that opportunity because I could see what that was generating for, for their region. I knew what the Ranger was going to bring to us. The idea that we're going to have a larger and a younger carrier in Oregon is beyond my wildest imaginations. Having a place for our veterans to be honored, a tourism impact of over $50 million a year into the Oregon economy, over 500 supporting service jobs for the residents, especially important in these tough economic times. There's still many questions to be answered, much work to be, do, to be done, but the donation is a huge step forward and it shows the commitment of the region to bring Ranger to East County. I've had the opportunity to work, uh, as Matt had said, we work together and we pride ourselves. We do politics different in East County. And uh, Multnomah County Commissioner Diane McKeel has been a strong supporter of the project from the moment she heard about it, uh, as she is with any project that brings jobs, tourism, and growth to East County. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce to you Multnomah County Commissioner Diane McKeel.
Thank you very much. I don't know about all this formality we're having here today, but uh, this is certainly a great day, isn't it? Isn't this great, this announcement and all of this news? Um, nearly two years ago, I had the pleasure of joining many of you at Chinook Landing to celebrate the Ranger's birthday. And on that rainy August day, not unlike this sort of cloudy June day that we have. We had a big crowd of people and the energy around the project was very evident. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity we have and I see a number of supporters that have, are backing this effort and I see that number of supporters growing. I have had the pleasure of touring the Ranger in Bremerton and was able to see what an impressive ship it is and what a landmark it can be for East County. I come from a tourism background at the West Columbia Gorge Chamber of Commerce and I recognize the impact the Ranger can have as a tourism hub for this area. As a Multnomah County Commissioner, I hope that we can utilize this economic development opportunity to help create jobs directly through the Ranger and use it to attract even more businesses to this area, which I think we have had a great announcement today about that. I look forward to working with the Ranger Foundation, our veterans, and all of our dedicated supporters and our partners to make this a true resource for our community. Thank you. As Diane said, the formalities are somewhat uh, awkward to us. We, uh, we spend so much time just calling each other by first name, so it's odd to introduce each other this way. But uh, I, I recall the first meeting that I had with Shannon and, uh, and Lonnie, and it was at the Jazzy Bagels, and they were talking about this opportunity. And, and my how it's grown. The energy in this room, you know, let's be honest, I mean, heading this way, I kind of thought, what was going to happen if there's only a dozen people? We've outgrown the room. It's amazing. I want to say uh, that the energy of the Rangers is contagious. Find a way to get involved. There's millions of opportunities. Millions. Let's say hundreds for now. We'll aim for the sky later. But there's lots of opportunities, lots of ways to get involved. There's unlimited potential for the use of the Ranger and what it's going to do for our region. This is a huge project, and there's so many ways to be involved. I want to thank Columbia Edgewater LLC Properties again. What a great donation. Thank you so much. I want to thank you all for joining us today. And for more information on the foundation and how to get involved, please see the website and talk to the many foundation staff members. They are dressed accordingly in these wonderful uh, T-shirts there with the Ranger. Some have uh, really nice uh, battleship gray shirts. Uh, look very sharp. Uh, the foundation staff and volunteers are here today to answer your questions. Also want to recommend to the media, there's a 3.30 touring and a site visit that's available to you. There will not be power out at that location, but uh, there will be uh, potential for some great photos. Uh, so again, I want to thank everybody for taking time out of your day to come. And again, this is contagious. Great energy in the room. Let's continue it forward and let's make the Ranger real right here in Fairview. Thanks so much for coming today. Really appreciate it. And have a great day. Enjoy. Enjoy.